everyone, my name is Ervosa, and welcome back to more Animal Crossing. And I am so excited today we are going to be making a new town on the Animal Crossing GameCube version, Population Growing. I have had the little original memory card that came with the game for forever that's been blank, because uh, I've been too scared to use it. So I'm very excited to make a new town for the channel on the memory card, and we're going to get started. And unlike the new games, in case you've never actually played this version for yourself, you don't get to pick anything. You don't get to you don't get to pick how your character looks. You don't get to choose the town, the town layout. I mean, you could if you just restarted the whole thing and tried again. Uh, you don't get to choose your villagers, who they are, when they come, when they go. So it's going to be an absolute roll of the dice. I don't know how I'm going to look or how we're going to turn out, but whatever happens, that's the game of life, and that's what we're going to be for this playthrough. So let's get started. Ah, hi, KK. So you've decided to move out, get your own place, see the world? Man, I wish, not in this economy. That's groovy. Who needs someone telling you what to do all the time? You can do what you want, when you want, where you want. Yeah, living on your own, being free. Feels great. But living by yourself can be a real drag, too. Still, if you got some really tight friends somewhere nearby, then you'll know it'll all work out. Yeah, man. Friends are far out. Oh, I guess I'm kind of rambling. My bad. So, are you ready to go hop on the train and go for a ride? I'm ready. Almost forgot. You'll enjoy your time in the world of Animal Crossing more if you get some friends to come here, too. Yeah, it'd be really cool if a lot of your friends came to visit your town. Yeah, it'd be really cool if a lot of friends came to visit your town. I cannot say that sentence. It would be really cool if a lot of your friends came to visit your town. There we go. <laughs> you got so bored with me, you started playing guitar again. Uh, later. All right, great. Good, thanks. <laughs> Rover and the little turnip lady. Amazing. Hello. This always kind of creeped me out as a kid because he kind of just stares at you <laughs> as he walks up. Hmm, uh, excuse me, do you have a second? Could you help me out? Is it, let's see now, 12.38 a.m. on Thursday, May 25th, 2023? Uh, no, it's not. Uh, gosh, what is the time? It's June 26. There we go, all right. Thanks again. It sure is nice making free meeting friendly folk on the train. You're in a psycho, right? Just kidding. Say, by the way, what's your name? Oh man, my name's Ervosa. How do I do... how do I do uppercase? There we go. Oh, I wish that the Nintendo Switch controls were as fast and smooth as the GameCube controller. Ervosa. Now that is an odd name. Eh, it is made up. Not that my opinion means much. What matters is, do you like the name? It's very cute. You're right, of course. What was I thinking? It's a very cute name for a very cute girl. I forgot. That's how you choose your gender. <laughs> uh, if you say cool, you get turned into a dude. If you say cute, you get turned into a girl. Oh, town name. Yes. Oh gosh, what should we be called? I could just name it YouTube. <laughs> now, I think I'm gonna go with the original town from back in the day, Hobbiton. Because I thought when I first got the game back in the day, that all the characters being so small, it looked like a little hobbit town. So we're gonna go with Hobbiton. Uh, yeah, I don't don't have a house yet. <laughs> I'm just going. <laughs> Figure it out when we get there. I love the train. The sounds of the train and the window passing by. If you guys noticed, once we picked the time and date and made sure that was correct, then the windows opened. So like it knew whether to show us nighttime or daytime out the windows and the season. Beep, beep, boop, boop. Hey there, Nook, it's me. So what's the good word? You raking in the cash? Uh-huh, yeah. Ooh, that's rough, brutal. <laughs> well, it's a crazy world. Anyway, as I was saying, I have someone here who wants to move to Hobbiton. Oh, yeah, completely. But the poor thing still hasn't found a place to live. It's sort of a tight spot. Kid's name? Why? Oh, it's Ervosa. 
Um, yeah. Yeah, today. So, you think you can help out? Oh, oh really? Uh-huh, I see. Okay, cool. Yeah, I'll pass the word on. So we'll catch up later. Right. Thanks a lot. See ya, Nook, my man. Bye. Okay, I'm back. Miss me? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> what a weird little saying. Sounds like my buddy has some brand new houses for sale. Dirt cheap. The work's all done, but he hasn't been able to rent them. He wants to unload them, so he's willing to take a loss. You have money, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I absolutely have money. <laughs> then you'll be just fine. Wow, a brand new house. Nothing like that in the world. Maybe I'll move in too. Please don't. Yeah. <laughs> Looks like we're about to pull into Hobbiton. Man, I love this place. Anyway, maybe we'll run into each other again sometime. Goodbye, and good luck. Yay! Alright guys, what do we look like? I don't know. Aw, cute! Yay! Oh, that's not bad. I'm happy with that. <laughs> they even got my eye color right. Welcome to Hobbiton. Watch your step. Yay! Oh, look at the... that... Oh, so each time you start the game too, your your train station looks different. Oh, it's so pretty! Yay! Oh, and there he is. Oh, I'm excited! <laughs> Would your name happen to be Arvosa? Good, good. I just know how to phone call about you, hmm? Whew, I'm glad I made it here in time to meet your train. I'm afraid I'm not in the best of shape. <laughs> but I ramble. My name is Tom Nook. Yes, I'm well acquainted. I, uh, ran the store here in town. Or run the store here in town. I'm quite pleased to meet you, yes? Something strikes me as odd, though, my young friend. Moving to a town before settling on a place to live? Why, it's the craziest thing I've ever heard of. Madness. Absolute madness. <laughs> Whatever. Pardon me. I beg you. That just struck my phony bone. Now, don't you worry. It may be small, but I have a house you can move into right away. It should more than suit your needs. I can show it to you now, so come along. Let's scuttle. Let's scuttle. What a phrase. Yay. Here we are. Not too shabby, hmm? I can almost heartily recommend any of these houses. Take your pick. Feel free to take a look inside. Really, I don't mind. Not in the least. After all, the doors don't have any locks. <laughs> Just stand in front. I didn't remember that from the first time I played this. There's, yeah, I, I guess there's no locks on any of the doors in this game. Even when villagers aren't there, you, I think you can still go in their houses. Aw, hello. <laughs> Dragonfly is happy I'm in town, apparently. All right, we've got red house, upper left. We've got orange peachy house on upper right. Got greenhouse in bottom right, and we've got yellow house in bottom left. Ooh, well this one matches my dress. It's also the same house that I picked in my first playthrough that I did, that I showed you guys on the channel back from when I was little. Um, I kind of like peachy house though. Oh, but I forgot. The interiors, bear in mind that a little, how you say cozy. Uh, the interiors in each one are a little different. Not that it matters too much because we'll be definitely decorating it. Nice, we've got some fantastic cedar planks with a nice metal floor. Very good. Let's see what the other ones look like. Actually, no, I like it. It's good. Yeah. Let's do it. Yay, that house now belongs to you, Rivosa. What a happy day for you, I'm certain. I'll tell you what, I'll even throw in the radio. No extra charge. I could never sell that thing at the shop anyway. <laughs> now let me see. I suppose you'd like a quick rundown of your house. So listen carefully, please. As you can no doubt see, the house doesn't have any furniture in it at all. Yes, quite bare, I'm afraid. Anything you need, you'll have to get on your own. Obviously, you can't expect me to furnish the place for you. You can do whatever you like with your own stuff, but don't try to mess around with other folks' things. Well, not that you can. 
<laughs> a little bit of breaking the third wall there. Nobody will know if you just nudge stuff, though. You'll probably want to pop into neighbors' houses to get some ideas for your own interior designs. I would. Oh, yes. That weird thing over by the door there. That would be your personal gyroid assistant. If visitors stop by when you're not around, this gyroid will meet and greet them. It truly is a must-have. You can teach it messages, and then the little fellow will repeat them to visitors. And that's just one of its talents. You can also leave items with it, which can even give or sell to other folks. Oh, and one more thing. When you're done playing, be absolutely sure to speak to your gyroid, for that is the only way for you to save everything that you've done that day. It would be a shame to lose such things, and we don't want to get chewed out by Mr. Rossetti. If you quit playing without talking to it first, it'll be like everything you did that day never even happened. That actually would be kind of terrifying. Can you imagine if you like pulled an onlighter and like skipped a day and then like you had to redo a day in real life? That would actually be, be very Groundhog Day. <laughs> I can't imagine a worse fate. Please take extra care so you never forget. I'd hate to see such a thing happen. And that marks the end of my explanation. I'm hoping that I didn't forget anything. Did you get all that? Or did you perhaps or do you perhaps wish to hear it again? Nope, we are good. Very well, I'm sure you'll set it into that particulars of life in due time. Don't worry. Now then, let's see. With fees and closing costs, oh, closing costs, <laughs> the house comes to 19,800 bells, which is like nothing compared to like the amount of bells you have to pay in New Horizons for the basement and the expanded storage. I can do 19 grand, no problem. <laughs> And I've got a thousand. <laughs> My measly 1,000 bells, yeah. Yes, that would be not nearly enough. <laughs> Why, you're so short, I can't help but laugh. Being laughed at all over the place today so far. You know what happens to people who don't have money, don't you? I'll tell you, they can't buy a house. But you still need a place to stay, don't you? Hmm, a thorny situation, yes. Rather thorny. Then there's what we'll do. Then here's what we'll do. You can work part-time at my shop to pay off the rest. Yes, that's acceptable. Do I get a say in this? Splendid, we're all set. This will work wonderfully. Now then, you'll have to come to my shop later to work. You can find my shop in Acre A5. You can't miss it. At least most people can't miss it. If you have trouble, check the map by the station, yes? I'm heading back there now, so I'll be waiting for you. I'd ask you to be quick about coming, yes? Uh, I just got tricked into a bit of a nurtured servitude, it seems. Yay! Oh, we're, we're in! We're so excited! Okay, first things first. Let's go check that map by the train station and see what our town looks like. Oh, man. Okay. We've got the dump right next to us at A2. We've got the post office in A1. Very nice. Uh, we've got our houses. We've got ramp going down to town. We've got the bridge across the river. Tom Nooks is in the upper right at A5. Nice. And let's see who we got in town. We've got a animal called Ed. Just below him are Jambet and Kitty. Uh, they live right next to the police station. We've got the big lake. We've got Bob and Wolfgang. <gasps> I love Wolfgang. Wolfgang's one of my favorite characters. And Pop Bomb! Oh, that's such a cute name! I have no idea. I only know what Wolfgang looks like. I don't know what any of the other characters look like. I actually haven't gotten them before. So that's very exciting. And then the big wishing well is over right above the museum. And then of course the tailor is always right on the beach, regardless of what map I've had. They're always like really, really far down in the rows. Oh, that's so exciting. Okay, well, let's go to the shop. And then go say hi to everybody and then explore the town. Let's do it. Okay, so coming down here, bridge. Nice. Okay. <gasps> we have apples! Yay! I didn't even think about what fruit we would get in the town. I love apples. Oh, they look so pretty. Nice. That's awesome. Every town I've ever started in an Animal Crossing game so far, the reason why I'm so excited is because in my original town in the GameCube version, I got oranges. In New Leaf, I got oranges. 
in my new game in New Horizons, I got oranges. So to actually have something different and have apples is very exciting. <laughs> well, you finally arrive. What took you so long? Dude, I ran here. I looked at the map and I ran here and talked about apples. I was starting to wonder if you'd show. Very good, yes. First off, you'll need to change into these clothes. Oh joy. If you must know, I suppose I'd call it your uniform. Please let me know when you're done changing, yes? Okay, is it Y? Yes, work uniform. Nice, actually terrible, that looks, that makes, that makes my character look uglier somehow, <laughs> it looks really bad. Uh, that's better, yes, you look like you were born to wear it. No, I don't. Uh, now you can start working off the remaining 18,800 bills you owe. First off, I want you to go plant some trees and flowers around my shop. The area around here is dull, not charming at all. It's just not ideal sort of shopping experience. People like shopping in areas that are clean, well kept. So I want you to spruce things up a bit for me. When you're finished, come and tell me, yes? Uh, yeah, let's do it. Okay, uh, we've got um, seven flowers and three trees. Uh, let's put put a tree here. That'd be pretty. Plant. Nice. Ooh, okay, so we have two tulips, so let's put a tulip here. Cute. Let's put a tulip on this side. It would make it kind of even. Nice. I like it already. Okay, let's do the pansy. That'd be pretty. Nice. Do Cosmos over here, since there's more of them. Oh, it's so far away. I didn't want it to be that far away. Um, okay. And then the other two lips, I guess, could go here. That'd be pretty. Nice. I like it. Okay. Um, the other tree, where should I put through the tree? I guess, like, here? Yeah, that works. Oh, little ladybug. Oh, it's a rare one, too. I don't even have a net yet. <laughs> Dang it. Okay. Um, another tree. Yeah. I'm gonna plant by my house. I'm gonna put it right here. Ha. So, did you make it look a little nicer out there? Gave the ground some charming character? Beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So I won't bother asking how you chose where to plant everything. That is nice. After all, I'm not the only one who'll get laughed at when travelers from other villages see your work. Oh, it's so mean. It was such a nice sentiment, and you ruined it. <laughs> now, let's just see here. That little chore was worth, oh, let's call it about 80 bells. I could have sold a rock for more than that. Quite generous, I know. You're hilarious. Oh, and about your wages. I'll just keep them as payment towards your mortgage. Now, what should I have you do next? Wait just a moment. Something just struck me. Irvosa, you just moved to Hobbiton. But you haven't introduced yourself to all the townsfolk. I'm going to give you a little break, so why don't you go introduce yourself to everyone in town? Go on now. And don't forget to introduce yourself to the mayor, too. That would show some class. You can probably find him wandering around near the wishing well. Nice, okay. I'll see you later. Okay, bye. Um, I'm gonna change out of my uniform first. Because I want to make a better impression. Okay, so... Ed, I think it was here? Oh, hello. It's a horse! Hi! Good morning. It's always nice to meet new people. They say the early bird gets the worm. But who needs a worm when you can make a new friend? My name's Ed. Nice. I like it. Kind of emo-ish. Blue horse. Alright. Oh, hi! You're cute! Kitty! Ouch, could you not raise your voice early in the morning? I'm sorry. What's your damage? <laughs> oh, you wanted to be friends? You're Ervosa, right? You look like you could use a friend like me. I'm Kitty. I'll be seeing you. Oh, she's so cute. I do talk loud. I apologize. Hi! Jambet. Ah, oh, good morning. I don't think we've met before. Have we? I'm always happy to make a new friend first thing in the morning. I'm Jambet. If you see me around, please come and say hello. 
Yay. Well, you're much more of a morning person than Kitty is. Um, how do I access the map? Z? Why? I can't remember if I'm able to access the map not outside the train station. I don't believe so. Okay, um, let's go back to the train station. <laughs> I'm gonna get lost. <laughs> okay. Right. Got it. Jambet and Kitty and Ed. Okay, then the police station. Okay, so we'll go around. We'll like loop down this way, go to Bob and Wolfgang, go to Pom Pom. Oh no, they're kind of cut off because we can't cross the river there. Okay, well, once we're done talking to those three, I guess we can just stop by the tailors and then go straight up with the whole little loop of town. I'll put the... I'll put the map in, like, the bottom of the screen. That way, at least you guys remember where everything's located while I fumble around trying to remember my new area. Okay. So. Let's go this way. And down. No, this way. Um. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, there's another map. Hello! Good day to you. Well, aren't we a busy little bee, running to and fro? Commendable behavior. How can Officer Copper be of assistance? Nothing. Just saying hi. Is that so? Well, let's be careful out there. Ooh, we got a house. Ooh, both of them are out. Oh, hi! Oh, I remember you now. You're in the news games. Hey, good morning. I don't think I've had... I don't think I've seen you around, have I? My name's Bob. What's yours? Hi, Arvosa. That sounds like a nice name. Anyway, it's nice to meet you. Yay! Oh, he's cute. We got two cat villagers. And Wolfgang! The best. <laughs> What's with all the noise? Sorry. Sorry, I'm excited. I don't like mornings and I don't like morning people. So how's about you going away? Wait, I don't think we've met. Sorry for being rude, since you did come over here just to say hi. Let's just forget about it. <laughs> I'm Wolfgang. Maybe I'll see you around. Yay. Sorry for being loud. Let's see. Ah, oh, cute! Pom pom, little duck. Morning. I feel so good this morning. I wonder why. Oh, hey, you're new around here, aren't you? I'm pom pom. You caught me in a good mood, so I think we can be friends. <laughs> Yes, first impressions are very important. Being in a good mood meeting someone, I guess, does make a bit of an influence on that. Okay, so there should be a Yeah, here it is. A little ramp to go down, and let's head on over to... Yep, here's the tailors. Nice. Hi there, come on in. Welcome to Able Sisters, where you are the famous fashion designer. Cute. Aw, little ducky umbrella. Hello. Um, if you need help, could you please ask the sales clerk over there? No. Sis, it wouldn't hurt you to be a little friendly once in a while. No. She's so shy. That's okay. We'll be friends eventually. Thanks again. You come back now. Okay, carrying on. We've got... Oh, soccer ball! <gasps> nice. <laughs> Alright, so if we continue going this way, I believe the... Okay, do we have to go across this? Alright, come on, ball. I don't know if we're going to make it, but we're going to try. Nice and easy. There we go. Yes. Okay, and... No! <laughs> Dang it. Alright, goodbye. So one with the ocean now. Got our lighthouse. And we should have the museum up here. Over here. Oh, one more. Yeah, there we go. I like it. Oh, pretty. It has water around it on the corner there. Hello. I'm waking you up as well. It's very early for you. What time is it? I'm so very sleepy. Oh dear me, a thousand pardons. So terribly sorry. I'm afraid I'm a bit of a night um owl. Yes. Yes, well, by the way, might there be something with which I can assist you? 
Nope. I'm just saying hi. Ah, well, hmm, hmm, yes. Uh, very well then. Actually, oh, this is terribly embarrassing. To be honest, we have nothing on display at this time. Dreadful, really. What we have here, when you cut to the quick, is a rather large, expensive, and thoroughly empty box. However, we are open around the clock and gladly accepting donations from residents of Hoppeton at all times. We do appreciate your support. We will start on the museum as soon as I'm done uh, working for Nook. Yeah, look at this pretty little pond around the corner of it. That's so nice. I like it. And then, oh, hello, Mr. Tortimer. How are you? Eh? What? Who are you? You whippersnapper! Tell me something. Who do you respect the most? My mom, my dad, my grandpa, or my grandma. I read all of those options backwards. Um, hey, mom. Hmm. Youth. Mm. I weep for the younger generation. It pains this old heart. Listen to me, Sprout. What's your name? It was there. I see. Human, aren't you? My name's Tortimer, and I'm the mayor here in Hobbiton, Yepper. Pretty important job. You seem like a good kid. Listen, whenever there's a holiday or some kind of event, come talk to me. I'm sure I'll have some interesting stuff to pass on. Yepper, I <laughs> surely will. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Tortimer. And we got the wishing well. What errand have you at the Wishing Well of Hobbington? Hobbington? Hobbiton. Um, nothing? Just saying hi. To need nothing is to know contentment. Alright, back to Nook. I like it. Knock, knock. Or not knock, there's no door. <laughs> Why did you change out of your uniform? Just who gave you permission to do that? I swear, what is it with kids these days? Always eating a casual workplace. Why, when I was young... I suppose I must change with the times, yes. Uh, go on with your hip-hipness. Wear whatever you like. But you can't wear anything that might make my customers feel uncomfortable. On this point, I won't budge. that That's just the way society works, you understand. Sometimes you have to obey the rules. Marie. Here, I'll put back into it. There we go. Alright. So, did you meet everybody in town? What a motley crew, but variety is quite the spice of life, you know. If you don't get along well with the folks here in Hobbyton, you'll never fit in, do you understand? But never fear, I have a good feeling about you. Now then, what shall I have you do next? Ah, yes, I need you to deliver some furniture. At last, it's like you're actually working in the shop. I can't deliver furniture, do you look- do you see me? <laughs> uh, take this furniture to Wolfgang! Yay, and E4. Yes, I can do that. And don't stop to sniff the roses on the way. There are no roses. The only flowers in town are the ones I just planted. Uh, go straight there and come straight back. Okay, let's go. New. Or not very new, because I have to wait for all of the acres to load as we run through here. Oop, this way. Okay. Um, yep. There's Jambet. Wolfgang should be here. <gasps> Pretty! I don't remember being there like giant flowers in the middle before. That's so nice. Aw. Okay. Wait, did I pass him? Because there's Pom Pom. Is Wolfgang back here? Yes. Uh oh. There you are. Hmm. It's you again, huh? Yeah. So, what do you want? Uh, delivery. Hold it right there. What do you think you're doing with my furniture, Bosa? Huh. Speak into my good ear. <laughs> He's so old. <laughs> Working? Give me a break. What kind of a... Oh. Mortgage? I understand. Let me tell you something. It's generally a good idea to have money before you buy something. That's where the world works, you know? But there's no shame in paying off your debts. That's honest. I've got to respect that. <laughs> So, I guess you haven't had a chance to get any of your basic house essentials, have you? So, ask yourself, do I feel lucky? Well, do you? You should! You here get- Oh, retro TV! Hell yeah, man! No, 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 take it. You need it more than me. Besides, we're going to be living in the same town. So, I figure it'd be best if we start off on the right foot. Enough about that. Now you have your own place, you'd better get busy decorating. 
You better spiff up your place if you want to impress folks around here. They're animals about interior decorating. <laughs> anyway, good luck with the job and all that. I hope everything works out. Thank you. Awesome. Dude, Retro TV, that's awesome. Hello. Morning. Again. <laughs> um, what's up? Morning. I'd be pretty pri I'd be pretty blown away if you hadn't noticed this while tooling around Hobbiton, but we have a huge number of tasty fruit bearing trees around these parts. I guess it won't hurt to tell you this. That fruit could be yours. Just face a tree and press the A button. That'll shake the tree. That'll shake the tree, but good. I thought I read that correctly. And all that snacktastic fruit will be yours the taking. Snacktastic. I like that word. You can chow down on it, or if you're not hungry, just sell it at Nooks. That is the plan. That doodle buy anything. <laughs> oh, you can also plant fruit in the ground and a new tree will grow. Nature's awesome like that. You know, now that I think about it a little bit, if you did some thinking about where you plant the fruit, you could start your very own orchard. 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 That is the plan. We're gonna create a massive apple orchard. It'll be awesome. Because selling fruit and seashells is the easiest way to start off in this game because it's the most accessible. Alrighty, I did it. I delivered the furniture. Welcome back. It looks like you delivered the furniture. Nice work. You did a good job. So I figured that it earns you 230 bells. Not bad wages, hmm? Well, better than last time. Now on to your next task. What's that? You say it's too difficult to try and find things without a map? Oh, hallelujah. I knew I wasn't going nuts. I could have sworn that one of these buttons was supposed to have been for the map. Honestly, kids these days and their constant complaints. Why, when I was just a little raccoon, I... Oh, never mind. Okay, okay. Here's a map. Yay. Press the X button. All right. I thought it was Y, but that's, that makes... Okay, yes, X. To look at your map. It should serve you needs just fine. Your next job is to write the same some copy for direct mailing. Uh, you know, sort of a personal advertisement. I completely forgot about those. Those were a thing back in the day, weren't they? I want you to send it to Jambette, who lives in Acre somewhere in Rosy. It's just good business. Jambette is a very loyal customer, so this is a no this is a notice of a special sale. As for what you will write, well, I'll just leave it up to you. But try to make it exciting. Oh, and you might want to think about introducing yourself as Ervosa, who works for me. Yes. You can use this stationery to write the letter. Go to the post office to mail the letter. You'll find the post office in acre A1. Now, hurry back, hmm? <gasps> I have a map! Yes! Great. Okay. Sweet post office. Let's do it. Woo! What are we going to write? in this letter. Oh, another ball? I don't want to drown this one. <laughs> we will leave it there for now. And the town tune! We gotta have to come up with the town tune. Okay, before we go in, let's get this letter written. Uh, write letter to Jambet. Um, we're going to say just for you for being a uh, dedicated customer. Oh, I hate that. <laughs> the line spills over. Uh, just- just for you for being a dedicated customer. The graphic designer in me is very upset with that, but we will continue. To Jambet, greetings, big sale at Nooks. Just for you for being a dedicated customer. Courtesy of Nooks. I like it. Good day! How can I help you? I'd like to mail a letter, please. Ah, yes, I see. Would you like to mail more letters? Oh, that's it. Oh, really? Well, come back anytime. Noise. We've done it. Alrighty. Ooh, let's go drop off the TV back in my house quickly. Alright. We're, we're, I guess, just right in the middle. Right there. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. I can't put it in the middle. Uh, well, I guess you're gonna go right here. Okay. Let's move on to our next assignment. 
I want to start picking some apples. Did you send the letter? Good job. It took you longer than I would have liked, so I'll have to dock you a bit. How does 130 bells sound? I was trying to do it nice. <laughs> but I'm glad you got it done. After all, if you can't even write a letter, you're going to have problems in this town. That's true. Ah, yes. Well, I uh, haven't actually prepared the next package I need you to deliver. I'm a bit behind. Hmm? It'd be a waste for you to just hang around here and wait for me. So why don't you help go help out the other villagers? You may find you can do a little better working for them than you can for me, but not much better. Just be sure to come back here after a bit. Hmm? Uh, yeah. Let's do it. Let's go here, where we already have three people. We'll help wherever- Ah! Hello, Ed. Running around in the leaves. Uh, I need work. What? Really? Sweet! That'd be awesome! Could you take this glasses case over to Kitty's? Belongs to Kitty, but it must have gotten left at my place by mistake. Absolutely. Let's do it. She should be, like, right here. Oh, right here. I think she's down here. Yay, hello! No, oh my, it's you again. Delivery. Um. Oh, look, the little icons actually little glasses with a glasses case. Pardon, I forgot something. You're saying that I forgot something ridiculous. Wait, that that's my glasses case. Could it possibly be? Oh, I see. I left it at Ed's house. I'm so horribly embarrassed. I apologize for the trouble you've been put through. Truly. I wasn't sure what I would give you for your trouble, but how do clothes sound? Someone with as questionable fashion sense as you could definitely use them. Sure, I'll take anything better than this uniform. Well, I'm quite impressed at your performance. Perhaps I judged you too quickly. Thank you. Yay. Can I, can I have your dress? Your dress is so cute. What do we got? We've got a gelato shirt. Ooh, I hate that. <laughs> uh, we're gonna put this back on. There we go. All right. <laughs> okay. Ooh, hello. Do you need help? Let me think. Oh, I know. I really need someone to take this orange tie-dye over to Pom Pom. I put it off for too long, and now it needs to be done right away. Could you do it? Absolutely. I know it's a lot of work, but I'm counting on you. Wait, where's Pom Pom? Down to the left, got it. Okay. Hello. Good morning again. Anyway, what's up? I have a delivery. From Pom Pom. Oh, to Pom Pom. Oh, it's finally here. Can you hang out for just a second? I want to try it on really fast. <gasps> that looks so good on you. It matches the orange of your hair and your bill. Oh, this... Is this really me? I look so beautiful! I can hardly recognize myself. Um, it's 219 bells enough? Uh, yeah, it's more than- It's almost more than Nook paid me. Really, just thank you so much. I'll be sure to come to you when I want things to get done right. Yay! Aw, oh, and she does look cute! I like it. Okay, um, who should we help next? Let's see, we already talked to Wolfgang on one assignment. Let's find Bob? Yay. What's up, Bob? Morning! Again. <laughs> what would you... What do you need me for? Uh, give me a job. Actually, do you deliver clothes? I just did. Very successfully. Because I need to get this noble shirt over to Jambet. Can do. You could use the exercise. <laughs> How about it? <laughs> I suppose. Good luck. Thank you. I would definitely be getting my exercise if I ran around a town like this for a whole afternoon. Okay, up to Jambet. It's very nice that, at the moment, all the villagers are, like, right next to each other. There you are. Hello. Hey! So, what can I do for you? I have a delivery. From one noble shirt from Bob. Is this the noble shirt from Bob? If you don't mind, I just want to try it on really quick. Oh, that does look good on you, too! That's so nice! It matches your lipstick color. Hmm, it's a little small, but I really like the look of it. Yeah, I think I'm really going to love this outfit. Yay! Just to say, say thanks, I went out and got this special piece of furniture just for you. Did you teleport? What do you mean you went out and got it? <laughs> You've done so much for me. Erevosa, I just can't thank you enough. 
Aw, yay. All right, what do we get? We got a pine table. What does that look like? Let's find out. I wonder, do I need to do something for each person in town? Or can I just like haphazardly do jobs and then go back to Nook? I don't know. All right, what does this look like? Oh, that's cute. All right, here, let's swap out the little box over here. Put down our new little table. Well, it's not really little at all, actually. Nice. Cute! Already coming together. Hello, sir. Did I help enough people? A carpet. Sounds good. Just because I'm not watching doesn't mean you can't stop and chit chat. I can do whatever I want. <laughs> then again, there's no way I can keep tabs on you, so just try not to gap too much. Tell me when you're done. To pom pom. I wonder what size of carpet I'm carrying, because if it's like a full, like, area rug, it'd be very heavy. Uh, there you are. Hello. Good morning again. I have another delivery. Get, everyone's getting all the stuff today. It's here! Oh my gosh, it's finally here! Super sweet! I'm totally gonna lay it down right away. If you wanna have, uh, like, a room to die for, you totally gotta have the right rug and wallpaper. I so don't care how rare furniture is. You gotta go for total coordination from floor to ceiling. Oh, now wait. Now that I have this carpet, I really don't need the old one, but junking it would be a waste. I got it. Erivosa, why don't you take this rug? Go on, take it. There are like Mondo different patterns you can use to decorate your room, you know, seriously. Mondo, that's an expression I've never heard before. The big hassle is getting your hands on one you really want. It's a huge pain. <laughs> I drop by Tom Nook's shop daily, but I don't always find what I want. So I go talk to the hand. He knows I'm just kidding though. He does try to get new stuff in pretty much every day. He's a sweetie. You should drop in too, just to see if he has any of his new stuff, just to see if any of his new stuff gets your motor running. Oh, but you better only browse on your free time. You can't shop when you're on the job. <laughs> I do really like how the way this game introduces things to you. It's really, really simple and piecemeal and does give you a lot of really nice items to start out. Like decorating your house. It's a really nice, ooh, a conversation. Oh, I missed it. Oh, her voice is so high. You can hear how happy she is. Um, Give me a job. <laughs> oh, perfect timing. I lent a Pokemon Pikachu to Bob the other day, but now I need it back. What? You lent him a Pokemon? I asked Bob to return it, but I'm sick of waiting and I don't have time to get it myself. I hate to ask this, but is there a way you could pick it up for me? Yeah. I know it's a lot of work, but I'm counting on you. You lent him a Pokemon? Is You mean like a game? Like the Game Boy? Or an actual Pokemon? Where are we going? Bob. Bob! You have a Pikachu. <laughs> You need to give it back now. Um, went too far. No, maybe not. Nope, yeah, we're here. No, we're not. We're, yeah, we're, we're too done. We are one row too far. Hello? Do you have a, pip, do you have a Pokemon? You dad you've absconded from someone? Oh, weak. I didn't mean for you to have to come here on behalf of Jambet. Sorry. Well, in any case, here's a Pokemon Pikachu. Don't forget to return it. Oh my gosh. Good luck. What is this? I gotta look at this. Oh my gosh, it is. It's a whole Game Boy. That's amazing. Can I have it? <laughs> okay. Nice. Here you go. Got your Pikachu back. Could it really be my Pokemon? I thought I'd never see it again. This makes me so happy. 
Would these, would these clothes do as thanks? Absolutely. You've done so much for me. I can't thank you enough. Hey. All right, what do we get this time? A stormy shirt. Ooh. Ooh, I like that. Oh, that's cool. Hell yeah. All right. We've got an orange box and old flooring. Oh, right. Let's go put that in the house. Man, I look so cool. I look like a bowling ball. <laughs> Alrighty. Let's see. Spread on floor. Ooh, yes. Nice. I like it. This is looking very retro. <laughs> All right. Oh, wait, let's change back into our uniform and go back to Nook. Nice. Let's see, because we, de we delivered Pom Pom's new floor. I got a new floor. That's an old floor, but now it's a new floor for me. We rescued a Pokemon and now we're back. Looks like you're finally getting the hang of things around here. The way you work, I'd be happy to have you working full time. Wouldn't that be a treat? In any case, I can see you're putting a lot of effort into your work. So this time, I'll give you 580 bells! Woo! Next, I need you to deliver an axe to Jambet. What? Be careful. I see that light in your eyes. The stuff you deliver is wrapped, so you couldn't use it even if you wanted to. So don't get any ideas. If you want to cut down trees, you'll have to get your own axe, yes? Very good, then. Give it your best shot. And tell me when you're done. Jambet is getting all the deliveries today. Oh my goodness. Maybe she... <laughs> Can you imagine if she ordered the axe to, like, get back at Bob for stealing her Pikachu? <laughs> and now that she has it back, she has no use for it. Oh man, that'd be a narrative. Alright, hello, here's your axe. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, thank you! What a hard worker you are! Say, you're the one who sent me this letter, aren't you? It's true. That was a very fast delivery. Goodness gracious. I don't know any postal service that works that fast. And yet everyone here in Hobbiton just loves getting letters. Me personally, I like getting letters so much that I save all of them. I know a lot of village folk do the same. Sometimes we even show them to our neighbors or visiting travelers. We like letters that much. Which is a good PSA. Because there's been many stories of people that have like written Animal Crossing characters like different letters. And then they move towns or go to their friends' towns and like show the new person the letter that they wrote. And uh, yeah, there's no privacy. <laughs> Alright. Thank you for the PSA. Back to no excuse me, emo pony. Alright, what do you got? What's next? Yes, yes, very good. Now let's see. That chore earned you a solid 230 bells. What to do? Your next job will be... Ah, yes! I remember now. You've seen the bulletin board in front of your house, haven't you? Well, I want you to write an ad for my shop on that bulletin board. You get foot traffic around there, yes? You can write whatever catchy slogan you like. Just make sure it sounds exciting. And don't write anything that might embarrass me. Once you write something on it, you can never erase it. Well, off you go, hmm? And let me know when you're done. All right. Going from door-to-door -door salesman to ad flyers in the mail. And now we're writing on the bulletin board. Where, where am I going? Is it in this one? Yeah, it's right here. Okay. The next feature of the game, the bulletin board. Uh, press the A button to start writing a new message. Use the C stick to flip pages and press the B button to quit. Oh, what should we write? Sale, sale, sale. Shop your heart away at Nooks today. New items in stock every day. Good. Hello. I wrote your thing. I hope you like it. Welcome back! Did you put up a buzz generating ad up there? Something animals will talk about all over the water cooler? Yes, I told them you have a giant sale. <laughs> Very good. I suppose that means... Yes! You're all done! All the work I hadn't gotten around to is now all done. <laughs> I was just doing your procrastination tasks. Amazing. How wonderful for me. Since I don't have any more work for you to do, I'm afraid I have no choice but to let you go. Hmm? The rest of your mortgage? Oh, of course. You still have to pay it all back. That's how life works. Let me just have a look at my records here. Hmm, yes. So far, you've worked a total of 1,400 bells. It's not bad, actually. So you have 17,400 bells left to pay off. 
Not exactly a some sum to sneeze at. Since there's no more work for you around here, you'll have to figure out how to pay it off on your own. Now, how could a youngster like you go about making some bells? I suppose running errands for the villagers? Uh, selling things you no longer need? That should generate some cash flow, I should think. If you got some stuff to sell, just come talk to me, yes. I'll give you a very fair price for anything you've got. Oh, and when you want to take a mortgage payment, do it at the post office for me. Tax purposes, you know. If you can pay off about 1,000 bells a week, that'll work for me. Otherwise, I'll send for the raccoon goats. <laughs> Just a joke. Once you pay it all off, we can talk about the remodeling, remodeling the place for you. That house you've got now is pretty small after all, and I'm sure you'd like a little more room. Well, thanks for your help, and I hope you'll come see me for all of your future shopping needs. Amazing. Yay! Yes! I'm finally done working. I'm free. I'm free. <laughs> we did it. We've accomplished the main first task of day one. Let's do uh, some other stuff around town. First, let me change out of this uniform. Dude, I'm putting my bowling ball shirt back on. That's so cool. Uh, we've got steel floor. So what we're going to do is to round out the rest of it today, we're going to... Try to make like one more good payment, maybe earn up another thousand bells. We're gonna collect some apples. We're gonna see if we can find maybe another cute thing for the house. I really want that lace umbrella I saw in there and we'll talk to some more people. So I saw on a stream that you can grab more than one item at a time. Ella's just grab. How did he do that? How did you do that? Oh, <gasps> that's it. If you hit X, oh my gosh. And you can select more than one. I never knew this. That's amazing. I love it. So cool. Okay, so let's put things in my house that I want to keep. And then we'll start collecting some apples. Aha. Apple. 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 And we'll start selling all the things. Let's put you that way. Yeah. And then... Uh, I don't need the steel floor, the work uniform's going away, and that gelato shirt was appalling. Uh, the orange box, we also don't really need. Let me put it back out and take a look at it. Um, yeah, I guess we could keep it for now. And then, uh, let's go sell the rest of this. Actually, we grab a couple more items. Ah, more apples. Eh, there we go. How many spaces do we have left? We've got... Space for two more trees. Okay, let's go find two more apple trees. I definitely want to plant trees in better positions. All of these are like right on the edges of acres and they're really annoying to get to. Let's see, I'll have to pick a spot for the orchard. Nice open area. Actually, where would a good spot for the orchard be? Ooh, big bug. I don't have a net though, but I do want this. Sorry. Let's see, where would a good spot for an orchard be? There really, hmm, there really isn't a good big free acre in this map design because the cliff cuts through so much of it. I suppose here in front of the dump would be as good of a place as any, or maybe up there so that I, I'd be right next to Nook so I could sell all of them. Let's take a look. Okay, so, yeah, yeah, this would be good. We could put it right here. Got a nice bunch of space. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so this is this is a really good option. Let's check out the acre over by Nooks and see if that'd be a suitable future orchard spot. Eh. It's okay. It's a lot smaller and it's got this in the way. I love this. <laughs> I miss this so much. I have a little pattern in New Horizons that I found from someone online that recreates this leaf pattern, but it's just not the same. Ah, I love it. The sound, the leaves, makes me happy. Okay, let's see how much we can get for all the junk in our inventory. <laughs> Man, all those years. It would have been so nice to have known I could have done this. Oh. All right, sell all. If I add it up, my price is 1,652. That's very good. That already met the mark of what we wanted. 
Anything else we wish to sell? Nope. You know what? We'll get a couple more. We'll hit the 2,000 mark. We'll deposit that. We'll say hi to a couple people, and we'll call it a day. Hello. A hearty good afternoon to you. I'll say howdy just as often as you like. Hey, so what can I do for you? Um, yeah, give me work. That way I can start getting more stuff. You just scored. I've got the perfect job for you. I need you to take this outfit to Bob. See, I found this when I was out shopping. It was so cute and I had to buy it for him. I just forgot to deliver it. That's where you come in. Think you can handle it? Absolutely. All right, that's it. That's the errand. Don't let me down. Sweet. We can look for some more apples on the way. Any apple trees over here? Nope. Let's see, there's Kitty. I hear a door, or I heard a door. Let's see, Bob should be right here. Nope, that's Wolfgang. There's Bob. I have a delivery. Take these clothes. A mosaic shirt, ooh. Hey, that looks cool. Very Windows XP, Windows 2000. I just know people are gonna be checking me out now. How's 196 bells? Actually, that might have been enough. That might have gotten us to 2000. I'm really grateful. If I'd done it myself, I'm sure I would have messed it up somehow. Aw, and you look cute too. I like that. Uh, yes, we've made it to 2000 bells. Yay. All right, well, let's just say hi one more round to everybody and then go drop this off the post office. You're just a never ending fountain of youth energy, aren't you? Yeah, so what do you want? Just hanging. You know that if you plant fruit, it grows into trees. You're not completely simple, I assume. <laughs> but if you want to plant your fruit, you've got to find yourself a shovel, unless you like dirty fingernails. Old Nook sells them shovels, I mean, at a shop at competitive prices. Maybe. Anyway, once you get one, you can dig up all kinds of stuff from the ground. If you see something that looks a little out of place, start digging. You heard me. Dig, dig. Dig, 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 dig. <laughs> You might get a little filthy, but you're used to that, huh? Excuse me? And you never know what you might find. I'm not filthy. I look great. Look at me in my bowling ball shirt. <gasps> Apples! I'm gonna go and take these anyway. Uh, let's see. Pom pom. Hello. Last hello of the day. If it isn't an, uh, an encore of Osa, how super for me. Hey, did you want something? Let's chat. When you need to buy tools or uh, pretty much anything, you have to have money. Talk about a drag, right? But actually, uh, there are really tons of ways to earn money. Serious. Like, if I need money, I just grab all the stuff I'm sick of and sell everything to Tom Nook. Everything must go. As far as I can tell, he'll buy anything from you, you f that you find here in Hobbiton or stuff from other towns. Alright. Let's see. So we talked to both of them. We just said hi to Bob. And we got paid, which was lovely. And now let's go up to say hi to Kitty one last time. Yep. Hello. Ervosa, you really do knew you really do talk too much, you know? Well, that is the point of the video, I suppose. By the by, did you need something? Uh just care to chat? Oh, how exciting. Tom Nook says he's going to make his store bigger. More shopping for me. He said it before though. I just hope he really does it this time. I've got it. You can help. Ervosa, if you do all your shopping at Tom Nook's store, he'll make more money. You follow me? And then he can afford to make his store bigger. And I can chop even more. Everybody wins. You'll do it for me, won't you? Pretty please. Thanks in advance. Oh my gosh. Yeah, uh, that would be nice. Make the store bigger. More selections. Let's see. I think that's everyone. Yeah, because we talked to Ed. Oh, where's Jambet? We'll talk to her one last time. Jambet and her axe. Where is she? Is she inside? Oh gosh. Let's be gone. Can never find anybody. Um, are you in your house? Oh my gosh, what is this? Ah! Hello! This is not what I expected. Hello! Hi! What can I do for you? What's going on? <laughs> what is going on? This house is atrocious. You know, if you ever want to send a letter to someone here in Hobbiton, go to the post office. And if you ever felt like it, you could even send a letter to me. I wouldn't mind. I already sent one to you. Do you not remember? I just sent you one this morning. Who knows? If your letter is interesting, I might just write back. 
Oh, that's right. Not that I'm hinting or anything, but you can enclose presents in your letters too. Just go to your item screen, grab the item you want to send, drag it to the letter you're sending, and press the A button. It's so easy. Sometimes I enclose presents in my letters and responses. It depends on my mood. So I guess you never know what you might find after sending someone a letter. That's nice. All right, I gotta get out of this house. Holy guacamole. That is an absolute nightmare fuel. We will not be going back in there. Uh, yep, we already talked to Ed. And we've got three more apples to sell. And then we will go deposit our first deposit. <laughs> okay. I would like to sell, please. Boop, boop, boop. 300 bells. Nice. Nope, that's it. Okay, so I want to put the 2,000 towards the house. So, what can we get in here for 300 bells? Lacy parasols for 20. A little overpriced. Let's see what else. Might just do some flowers? How about the wallpaper? Ooh, a cabana wall! Ooh, actually, no. No, I don't like that. Nope, that's okay. Uh, floor? I did just get a new floor. Ooh, cabin rug. Ooh. I do like that. 1,540. We might need to make some more money. Okay, change of plans. I want that rug. We're gonna go earn a few more bells. Seashell one. Two. Three. Six. Seven. Eight. 11. This is something I would do at a beach normally anyway. Anytime I ever went to the beach all my life, I one of my favorite things to do is always collect seashells. Like I'm always the gremlin being like, ooh, this one's pretty. <laughs> it's, ooh, my pockets are full. Oh, and there's a uh, coral. Okay, we'll come back because coral is worth a little bit more than the other types of seashells. So that would be awesome to get. Let's go drop off our loot and do round two. Uh, oh, so much. Nice. Oh, that paid for the rug. Ooh. Hell yeah. Let's go back and get the other shells quickly. Oh, there's so much money. That's awesome. All right. Oh, it's, it's a very tiny little section of beach. Okay. That is everything. Let us... Let's go this way this time. Back up and around. All right. What will you give me for all of this? I would like to sell. And I would like to sell all of these apples and a couple more seashells. Nice. 1,110. Ooh, 5,000 bells. That's awesome. Okay, let's get my cabin floor. Very exciting. Nice. And I guess, okay, so I still want to be able to put 2,000 in. Ooh, a raffle. The next raffle date is June 30th. I'll bet you can't wait. Ooh, I got a raffle ticket. Nice. Okay, cool, we'll have to come back on the 30th. How much is the shovel? 500, that's it. Nice. Perfect. We have our first tool. Just grab it on your item screen and put it in your hands. Then just press A whenever you feel like digging a hole. Nice. You can usually tell where something is buried because the ground will look unusual. Oh, we got that already. We're good to go. Hey, all right. We have our first tool. We've got a rug and we've got 3,000 bells that we can deposit into the bank. Let's do it. Ooh, it's gonna look so cute. Even though I do like the rug that Pom Pom gave me, but <gasps> yay, oh, and it matches the retro TV. Oh, that's so cute! <laughs> I like it. Here, let's move this guy down here in the corner. I think that would look nicer. Nice. Oh, look at this! It looks so adorable! I just need, like, a little bed for, like, right here, and I am absolutely set. Amazing. Okay, let's do it. Let's go uh, deposit some money. And then... Oh, oh, well, let's dig this up while we're here. 
Hey, got our first gyroid, a mega percoloid. Does it sound like coffee? <laughs> okay. Let's see, how does this thing work again? Oh, I keep forgetting, this isn't an ATM. <laughs> Uh, no, I don't have- I actually don't have any Animal Crossing e-cards from back in the day. That'd be really cool to collect. Should take a look online and see if I can find any. I would like to make a deposit. Um, uh, take all of it. <laughs> Yay! Amazing. That means you still owe 14,293 bells. Thank you very much. Is there anything else I can do for you? That's it. Thank you. Yay. Woo. Yeah, see, the letter was still up there. That... <laughs> I knew it wasn't supposed to travel that fast. Okay. And we heard the town tune, like, mid me having conversation ago, but let's see what it sounds like. Aw, that's cute. We'll leave that for now. I like that. Yay! Well, I'm so finally happy to be back. This is so cute. I love how my character looks. My villagers are adorable. I have apples. It's going to be a really, really fun town to play in. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I hope to be back into the new Hobbiton very, very soon. And until then, I hope you guys are happy and healthy, and I'll see you all next time. Bye! I was about to shut things off, and I forgot I have to save. <laughs>